Dubai is amazing, you know. What, what Dubai has been able to do for the last few years is, is unbelievable. And, and that tells you what leadership, how leadership can transform a country. It's, it's a shame <laughs> that Dubai is more greener than Nairobi, a, a country that uh, receives no uh, uh, rainfall at all. You will find all manner of uh, species of flowers and, and uh, trees in, in Dubai. So you are right when you, you actually uh, tell us that in terms of tourism, du Dubai poses a big uh, threat to, to, to Kenya, you know. Security in, in Dubai cannot be matched with the security in Kenya. Uh, you can do business in Dubai, work comfortably at 11 p.m. without uh, looking back to see who is uh, following you. Look at the number of hotels that have uh, set up a business in, uh, in Dubai. Look at the nationalities that have uh, moved in to, to Dubai from many countries to work in Dubai. And I, ho I, I hope we are, I mean those of you who are in government, I, I, I hope the government is keeping a keen eye because that is the source of employment. I've said in this show many times, Dubai, that government can never be a source of employment. Only a small percentage of Kenyans can get employed by government. But if you create a conducive uh, environment, you'll be able to attract uh, private investors who will set up uh, industries. It could be cottage industries. The Dubai uh, the taxis mm. in, in uh, Dubai employ more than uh, 10,000 drivers. You can imagine. Imagine the youth, the number of youths that are in, in our county that are looking for jobs. If you created that kind of environment, it, it would be re really a game changer. But then again, this issue of bubble trees, you know, the locals must also enjoy these resources. <laughs> you know, we, we want to protect our tourism, but it's a very delicate balance. But the locals now, is, they, they want to, to enjoy it, and they've been having it for the longest time. Uh, they've not been tapping it. It's, or maybe they've, it's, not, they've not realized it's a delicate exceedingly balance of, uh, beneficially. Preser preserving nature, but also ensuring that uh, if, if it can turn into an economic activity that can transform. Like, I'm actually pleasantly surprised yes. that there are families that are making 500,000 from the sale of those trees. Yes. Well, that, that changes uh, Indeed. a home. If you, you are making 500,000, very, very few homesteads in, in this country make, see that kind of, of money. So we, we must do a delicate uh, balance, uh, preserve nature, have that uh, 